everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then my name is Lucy and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of Nottingham. I wanted to film a bit of a different video today. I'm aware that a lot of my subscribers and a lot of my followers on Instagram are people who are starting uni this September. A lot of you are probably starting medical school because I do film a lot of videos about medical school, but I wanted to just kind of chat to you about the difficulties of starting uni and things that like looking back maybe I kind of regret or I wish I'd known but at the same time just like fundamental life lessons that I think uni has really taught me. I don't want this video to be me kind of like instructing you on how you should start uni and how you should act um, at all but I just kind of wanted to like just chat with you about uni and about the struggles and the things that I found really hard and that you might find hard and ways you can kind of combat them or maybe just be prepared for these things that you're going to find difficult. Also this video is like completely unplanned and unscripted. Normally when I film videos I have a kind of a rough plan, I make some bullet points and then I kind of know what direction the video is going in. On my notes I've got like five words that are going to direct this video so just bear with me if we go off on tangents because that may well happen. I've got a glass of water here which is very boring but if you want to grab yourself a tea or a coffee or some kind of fancy drink then go do that and let's just chat about uni. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is making friends and I know this is such a big worry for so many people that they won't make friends, they won't fit in, they won't feel like they can be comfortable around people, it will take them a long time to get to know anyone. For me personally I'm definitely someone who I find it quite difficult to be relaxed around people if I don't really know them and I'm not comfortable with them and I'm not really like close to them. Some people are a lot easier at just being very relaxed with whoever they're with but for me it does take a long time for me to get fully relaxed being around people. I was actually really lucky in that before I started medical school I was actually messaging someone who was in the same halls as me and she was also starting medicine. So we kind of just chatted you know about oh what are you gonna wear on this freshers night out? Are you getting tickets to this event? And we just talked about general things like that. When I actually got to uni and it was my first day there um, I basically just texted her and I was like where are you? Like I'd love to meet you. And then basically I met her and a few other people and in that kind of initial group of people that I kind of met very near the beginning. A few of them I then went on to live with in second year and they were also medics and the one who I'd messaged beforehand she actually became my best friend. I feel like it's a bit of one of those like fate stories. It was like so random because I didn't really message anyone else before uni started. She was pr pretty much the only one. Um, I met her, got on really well with her and still today we are very, very, very close friends. We've lived together ever since. That was quite lucky for me. But what I would say that maybe I regret a little bit is that because I found her and I found a few other people very near the beginning and they were on my course, they were in my halls, I felt really comfortable around them because we all kind of had the same lifestyle. We got up every day, we had our breakfast in the dining hall together, we went to lectures together, we came back, we had dinner together. We did spend a lot of time together in those first few weeks and that was really, really nice because like I said, I do take a while to get relaxed around people but I would say just to be very careful not to close yourself off. This is really hard to articulate, but because I was in this little group of people who I just got so used to being around, it wasn't so much that I didn't want to speak to other people or I was too scared to. It was that because I was in a group, I then assumed that everyone else was in groups already. So let's say for example, I wasn't with my friendship group and I walked into the library and I saw a group of like four people sitting at a table and I knew they were on my course, they were in my year, I would assume that those people were in a close friendship group like I was. I would assume that and think, oh well they're not really going to want me to just go up and sit with them because they're like a close friendship group and then it, it would be like I'm intruding and that was just kind of the mindset I had for everything so whenever I went to anything, a seminar or um, I sat in a lecture theatre and I didn't have my friendship group with me or in clubs and, and societies I would go and I would just kind of quickly assess the situation and my mindset was always that oh look, everyone's already in their groups, I need to just make a group of my own. And I never considered, firstly, that these people might not be in close friendship groups, they might just be randomly sitting together and just getting to know each other. Or secondly, 
They might be in a close friendship group, but there's absolutely no problem with me going over and joining in or introducing myself or getting to know these people. Because I know a lot of advice that's given to freshers is, like I've just said, don't close your mind off, don't put yourself in a group and then refuse to interact with anyone else. But I think it kind of works the other way as well. So like, don't assume that everyone else is in their own groups. I just thought, well, they don't really need me and I don't really need them because I've got my friendship group, they've got their friendship group, so we're all cool. Like, I don't need to go and make more friends and they don't need to make more friends. And I don't think necessarily you need lots of friends. I'm, I've definitely always been someone who's had one close group of friends or obviously now I have my home friends and my university friends and they're very much just two groups of people that I'm close to. Um, um, I do have other kind of friends from different things, like different hobbies I do and stuff like that, but fundamentally I've always been someone who has just a close group, just one group. But at uni it's really not like that and there are a lot of people who are just friends with so many people and so many different groups and so don't think that because a group has been formed that you can't join it or that you can't let someone else into your group as well. I was so pleased with myself for having got a friendship group and feeling like I fitted in really well that I just thought I don't need anything else and it is always nice to have other friends. Although I do really like the sense of belonging in a particular group, I do think it's really important to have friends outside of that group because if anything went wrong with your friendship group you'd have people to fall back on and it's always nice to escape that kind of group you're in because it can get claustrophobic it's nice to go to the library with a different person or to go to a society with someone different or do a sport with someone different go to the gym with someone different it's nice to have those different interactions so leading on from that the next thing I want to talk about is losing friends at uni. Now this is kind of an emotional topic for me, but I think the biggest life lesson I've learned is that it's okay to lose friends. Um, and I don't, I, I know I'm talking very dramatically here, I don't mean literally like, okay, you just decide you cannot be friends with this person anymore, they decide they can't be friends with you and you just never speak again. I'm not talking about that, I'm just sort of talking about when a friendship just fizzles out and it's not kind of what you wanted to happen, um, it can kind of feel a bit like a breakup. If you've ever broken up with a boyfriend or girlfriend, it can feel similar to that in that you suddenly lose this part of you that you've just always assumed will be there and um, that's something I found really hard to cope with at uni and this is just something that happens like all the time quite naturally. You might find it happens a little bit with your home friends so when you've moved into uni and you're surrounded by all these new people you might kind of lose a bit of contact with those friends you had in your hometown, um, you might not see them so much and that is okay like you're allowed to go in a slightly different direction and open new doors for yourself and experience new people and new things that's absolutely fine but yeah like I was saying just be careful not to get really invested in people at uni especially right at the beginning because I think this was a problem for me like I kind of made that friendship group in the first few weeks I just kind of assumed right that was it that group is my group and I think ultimately that's why it hurt me so much when it did actually happen that that friendship group just didn't really work out by the way um, I know that a lot of people who know me personally like from uni will probably be watching this. So just so you know, don't like make assumptions about the people I'm talking about because it might not be people who you think I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention any names, I'm not going to go into those sort of details. So yeah, just, you know, don't look into this too much. But yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, I think it's okay that we just kind of realise that some members of our group were more alike than others. We didn't need to necessarily all get on and just push on with this, yeah, we must make this friendship group work. And it was okay to kind of divide or to get closer to one person or get closer to a few other people and not so much with other people. Um, and just sort of be, be prepared for the natural change. Because right at the beginning, you do meet loads of people and you do fall into the trap of thinking, right, this is my best friend for life, my soulmate that I've met at uni. And just sort of remember that friendships at uni can be quite transient. Just don't let yourself stress about it. If you feel like someone's distancing from you or they just kind of are going in a different direction or they're making new friends, 
it's fine like at the end of the day just try not to take it personally because when you start uni you all just know nothing about each other like all you get is that initial first impression and obviously when you first meet someone at uni you want to show yourself in the best light so everyone is very friendly and they're very kind of up for doing anything and they're all kind of like being really kind really nice um and i think as time goes on people's true colors kind of come out a little bit um you kind of realise things about people, people's habits, the way people behave, the way people interact with other people. You just kind of learn a lot about people. And it's not necessarily that you realise that they're horrible. It's just you start to realise the sort of cracks in your friendship and you start to realise ways in which they might be very different from you. And you might sort of think, oh, actually, I probably would prefer to go hang out with that person rather than those people. But just don't overthink it. It will happen naturally if it happens. Just just go with the flow um, and don't take it personally. Because yeah, like I said, it, it's not that everyone suddenly realises you're a horrible person. It will just be that people kind of gravitate towards other people maybe more than you and you might gravitate towards some people more than other people. And yeah, just take it all in your stride and don't let it stress you. Because this is the thing, when it started to happen to me a little bit, I found it really stressful and I did take it very personally and like it was really quite an upsetting time but yeah you will get through it and you will work out then who your close friends really are and who the people are that you really really do get on with and you enjoy spending your time with. The next thing I wanted to talk about was having confidence academically and this is something that definitely affected me in first year. It still affects me today to be honest but it's something I've learned to cope with a lot better. So basically, when I first started, I think this is particularly true for medical school because medics kind of all through the application process to get into medical school, you're sort of you're trained to be this very competitive person. You need to stand out from the crowd. You need to get the best grade. You need to get the best UCAT score. You need to perform the best in the interviews because you need to get your medical school place. So when you finally do start medical school, I feel like everyone can seem a bit threatening and a bit intimidating because you know that everyone who got in will be of a similar level to you. They're, these are people that have worked very hard academically to get where they are and they've got those really top grades. I'm not saying that other courses haven't worked hard, I'm just saying medicine is particularly kind of like scientific, academic and as a lot of people say, starting a new course, um, maybe if it's a subject you've always been really really good at at school, a lot of people go from being the best person in the class to being sort of mediocre when they get into this big pool of people who have all been top of their class and that's definitely something I felt at medical school. And I think the effect that had on me was then I sort of started to belittle my own academic achievements and my own kind of intelligence. I just kind of then thought, right, I'm not going to answer questions like in the anatomy dissection room for example if the professor asks the group a question I won't answer it because I'm scared I'll probably be wrong and everyone else will probably know the right answer and it'd be really embarrassing so I would kind of like not put myself out there very much and even if I really thought I did know the answer to something like when we were asked a question I just wouldn't want to say it because I'd be like oh well if it is wrong I'm gonna look really stupid and everyone will think I'm stupid but the thing is this is something I've really really learned people just don't care. If someone answers a question in front of me and they get it wrong, what I actually think is, wow, you are really brave for putting your hand up and I admire their confidence. So just don't worry about it. Like, if you have an idea or a suggestion that you want to raise or you have you think you know the answer to a question, just say it. I really do regret all those opportunities when I did know the answers to things, but I didn't say them. I felt like more in third year, I then started to just be like, right, okay, I'm just going to volunteer, I'm going to answer the questions, like, if I know it, I might as well just give it a go. Either I got it right and then it was nice because it was like, oh yeah, I actually knew the answer to that question, or I'd get it wrong and then I would get a personal explanation of why the thing that I said was wrong and I think that's really helpful. Um, so, like, you're thinking of this and you should have actually been thinking of this and I just think that's really helpful to learn from. And don't think as well that the person answering the questions is the cleverest person in the room and the genius because it's definitely not necessarily the case. It's just that the person answering is probably just the person with the most confidence and they're most sort of fearless in getting things wrong. Don't put yourself down. If you want to have a go answering a question or getting involved with something, then you just do it. The next thing I want to talk about is don't let the marks you get at uni give you value. So if you get an essay back or you do a mock exam or something, you get a mark or a grade, don't let that sort of 
take over everything because I know that in first year often when I did um, formative assessments these were like assessments we did at the end of the term they didn't count for anything like they didn't count towards our final grade but they were just to see how we were doing um, I would often get a 2-1 and I would feel quite deflated because I shouldn't probably know I do have high standards for myself and I did want to kind of be achieving first and so when I'd get a 2-1 I'd kind of think like oh and then basically whenever I was like studying or whenever I was like getting involved I don't know in a workshop or a dissection or something I would always kind of think of the grade I got in the formative and be like you didn't get a first and I would always think like I'm not at the point I want to be and I'm behind and I'm not performing as well as I'd like I'm not learning things as well as I'd like and I just think like uni grades can change so much and they can improve so much as well like I went from getting maybe a few two ones at the beginning of first year to eventually getting a first in my BMed Sci degree and maybe like in second year my results were very like inconsistent I sort of got some two ones and some firsts in third year I think I got all firsts I definitely felt like I improved as I kind of learned about how to best study and, and how uni exams worked so just don't be disheartened if the, the first grade you get isn't the grade you want to end up with because there's so much room for improvement so don't label yourself like let's say you you failed your first exam don't then label yourself as oh I'm a failure I am always going to fail my exams I'm not going to get a good degree just take the mark for what it is and then just learn ways in which you can improve on it if you want to or if you're happy with it then how to maintain that level of work and secondly like you shouldn't attach grades to worth and to value the final thing I wanted to talk about is the transition between home and uni change and transition is something that I personally find really really difficult and this goes both ways so obviously when I initially moved from home to uni and I felt like I was so far away from that place that I grew up in with the people that I knew um, and all the comforts that I had there um, obviously that is really hard um, and something I could talk way more about but I think what I wanted to highlight as well is that you might find it very hard when you go home as well I always just found like the, the big change in routine and the change in scenery and the, in people was always a bit of a shock to my system every single time I came home for holidays or I moved back to uni and especially something I found hard was when like my family came up to visit me at uni obviously while they were there I loved it although it's slightly weird when your family at uni with you because you're kind of like this is my little bubble of, of space and now you're now in it because very much I, I felt like home and uni were two different worlds like two different bubbles of my life but it's really nice when obviously friends and family come visit you but I then felt like when they left I would just feel so alone and I'd suddenly realise like oh yeah I have no family up here in Nottingham with me and it just suddenly would feel really hard to cope like oh I have to like fend for myself and I don't have the comfort of them being there I guess it's just sort of adult life really but I do think it is more than that uni because it's not just that you're living on your own necessarily or you're living without your family it's that you're living in like literally miles and miles away like Nottingham is like over a three hour drive away from where I live so it never felt like oh I could just pop home if I wanted to see my family it always felt like that was a big trek so I think just kind of prepare yourself for that every time you have that little transition between your two sort of bubbles of life um just let yourself find it hard for a few days. I found what happened to me was, so let's say I was dropped off at uni on Saturday, then on that first day I'd be like, I'm packing and it'd be really exciting and then on Sunday I'd be like, yeah, I've got all my uni friends back and it's so much fun being independent and living in a house of all my friends and then maybe on like Monday or Tuesday it would just hit me like, oh, I'm back and like, I don't have my family and like I'm really far away from home and it would kind of be a delayed thing that happened like and it happened pretty much every time I moved back to uni where I'd initially be so excited and so happy to be there and then I'd have this kind of delayed response of like oh like I kind of miss home but then I think it just would wear off again and obviously I'd get used to being at uni and not being at home but yeah it's something that I think is hard to deal with one last little point if you're in a relationship with someone if they're not going to the same uni as you or to be honest even if they are going to the same uni as you I think that is really really tricky me and my boyfriend have been together since sixth form or college as you might know it so the end of school basically and he's actually finished uni now so We've got through his whole uni degree and we're still together, which is great. 
but I do think it's really hard when you both kind of like regardless of whether your partner is also going to uni or not whether they're staying at home or they're doing something else it's just tricky because you're just plunged into this brand new environment and maybe they are too I think that's always hard to adjust to especially as like I was always used to seeing my boyfriend like at school and we like knew each other's friends and we all kind of had the same friendship group and we went to the same like parties and everything so we kind of were very much in the same social circle and then suddenly we both formed like different social circles which was weird and hard to get used to I think and obviously it's hard because in those first few weeks you don't really have a lot of time to sort of speak to each other or see each other because you're like really busy obviously meeting all these new people and like starting your degrees so that's hard but I think everyone knows that's going to be hard but I just wanted to show you that I'm a case where it did actually work out and it can work out so don't think that if you're going to uni with a boyfriend or a girlfriend then you're not going to make it like you're going to break up in like the first year because it, people do last through uni like it is a thing Pe people do it's possible so yeah just hang in there okay i think i will sort of draw this video to an end here um i hope it kind of has been helpful to you in some way or if not then i hope you just found it interesting to hear about my sort of uni experience on a more sort of personal level i didn't want to scare anyone by making this video obviously University is such a, a great opportunity and it's so, so exciting to be starting uni, starting med school, whatever it is. Um, so throw yourself into it, enjoy it, have the best time, good luck and just prepare yourself for finding things a little bit hard, especially at the beginning. But you will get used to it and you will learn how to cope with these things and you'll probably learn a lot of things along the way as well, which is always good. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos about university life or medical school and I will see you very soon for my next video. Bye.